So we're revolving the Opt Optimus design and really getting Optimus to the point where it is a phenomenal design. From V2.5 with more than 200 mechanical refinements, Tesla has pushed Optimus V3 to a whole new level. The new robot balances 50% better and handles complex tasks more smoothly thanks to the fifth generation AI chip. So between version 2.5 and version 3, what are the real differences that change the game? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How does Optimus V3 improve its self-learning ability compared to V2.5? When comparing Optimus V3 with V2.5, the most noticeable difference lies in speed and mobility. In the previous version, Optimus V2.5 already showed clear progress, compared to V2, but in reality it was still quite slow and limited in responsiveness within complex environments. According to Tesla's internal tests, the average walking speed of V2.5 was only around 3 to 5 kilometers per hour, roughly equal to the pace of a normal human walking. Meanwhile, V3, as Elon Musk revealed, can increase walking speed by 75 to 80 percent, bringing the robot closer to the pace of a slow human jog. This isn't just an impressive technical figure. It opens up far broader real-world applications, from transporting goods inside factories to supporting tasks that require faster movement in offices or hospitals. Not only faster, Optimus V3 also shows remarkable improvements in flexibility. In version 2.5, the joints, especially in the hips and knees, were still limited in their range of motion, making it difficult for the robot to rotate its body, step over obstacles, or maintain balance on uneven surfaces. Tesla solved this weakness in version 3 by applying a more compact transmission mechanism and adding force and motion sensors directly into major joints. As a result, V3 can perform much smoother and more graceful movements. Viewers in Tesla's test videos could easily notice the difference. V3 walks steadily, balances more naturally, and can change direction fluidly while V2.5 still showed slightly awkward steps. Another critical aspect is task execution. Optimus V2.5 could lift and move objects weighing about 10 to 15 kilograms, but the motions remained stiff and time-consuming. V3 improved on this by integrating tactile sensors in its hands along with force feedback. This allows the robot not only to handle heavy loads more effectively, but also to deal with fragile objects such as glass bottles or electronic components without breaking or damaging them. This is a major leap that turns Optimus from a lab prototype into a genuinely useful tool for daily life and industrial production. Elon Musk once said, Optimus will have human-level hand dexterity. And V3 shows that this statement is no longer just a distant vision, but a reality starting to take shape. The speed and agility of V3 also directly tie into operational safety. The faster and more flexible the robot is, the easier it can avoid dangerous situations or quickly recover from errors. In version 2.5, when encountering unexpected obstacles, the robot often stopped suddenly and took several seconds to recalculate a new path. In contrast, V3 can respond almost instantly thanks to its motion perception, AI system combined with high-resolution cameras. This forms the foundation for Optimus to safely operate in human environments, where unexpected incidents are inevitable. It's also important to note that the speed and agility of V3 don't just come from hardware, but also from an AI system trained on Tesla's massive autopilot driving data. By learning from billions of kilometers of autonomous driving, Optimus V3 has a strong foundation for calculating optimal paths, avoiding obstacles, and maintaining balance across diverse conditions. This is a clear advantage over most competitors, even famous names like Boston Dynamics, who lack access to such a vast pool of real-world data. Looking at the bigger picture, V2.5 feels like a draft version that allowed Tesla to validate what was technically possible for a humanoid robot, whereas V3 truly opens the door for Optimus to become a commercial product. Faster movement, superior agility, and more versatile task execution put V3 far ahead of what V2.5 could achieve. This demonstrates Tesla's rapid pace of innovation, something Elon Musk often emphasizes across all projects. Fast trials, rapid learning, and continuous iteration. To put it simply, if V2.5 was like a toddler just learning to walk, still stumbling and prone to mistakes, then V3 has grown into a young adult capable of running, adapting, and working confidently. This difference not only makes Optimus feel far more useful to potential users, but also strengthens the belief that humanoid robots will soon become part of everyday life. Once again, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated.
Thank you. How does Optimus Gen 3 improve its self-learning ability compared to Gen 2.5? With the V3 version, Tesla has brought another breakthrough that will leave you amazed, the robot's ability to self-learn. This is the true brain that makes Optimus increasingly resemble a human being. Put simply, V2.5 mainly operated on pre-programmed scripts, like being taught every move step by step. But V3 takes it a step further. It can observe, remember, and improve its actions over time without needing manual reprogramming. In version 2.5, for example, if the robot was instructed to pick up an object, it would follow the exact steps that engineers had coded into it. If that object's position or shape changed even slightly, the robot would struggle and often fail. Meanwhile, V3, thanks to reinforcement learning, can go through trial and error and adjust. The more it practices, the more accurate and efficient it becomes. This makes V3 not just capable of working, but of learning how to work better over time. What's fascinating about V3 is its ability to share experience across robots. If one Optimus learns how to open a new type of door lock, that knowledge can be instantly uploaded to the system and distributed to the entire robot fleet. This marks a huge difference from version 2.5. The earlier version was almost entirely independent, keeping what it learned to itself. In contrast, V3 operates under a model of collective learning. Elon Musk once explained that when Optimus learns a new skill, the entire robot army immediately knows how to do it. This gives Tesla a compounding data advantage, something no competitor can easily replicate. Here's a simple example. Imagine an Optimus V3 working in a factory, tasked with stacking boxes. At first, it might take several minutes to figure out an efficient method. Once it discovers that stacking boxes vertically is faster, this insight isn't just saved for one unit. It's shared across all Optimus robots worldwide. By contrast, V2.5 would require engineers to step in, rewrite commands, and manually update each robot, a process that is both time-consuming and inefficient. Moreover, V3 is equipped with the ability to self-adjust in new environments. Instead of functioning only in familiar settings, the robot can adapt when placed in areas it has never seen before. With V2.5, Moving from a factory to an office often caused confusion, requiring reconfiguration. V3, however, can observe a room's layout, identify unfamiliar objects, and plan its movements and actions accordingly. This makes Optimus a highly versatile tool, no longer restricted to a single context. Looking deeper, the self-learning capability also directly impacts task precision. Tesla announced that the new AI models in version 3 can process thousands of simulated scenarios per day, powered by the Dojo supercomputer. This means that even if the robot has never encountered a specific situation in real life, it can still respond as if it had already practiced. Version 2.5 lacked this ability, relying heavily on limited datasets and predefined cases provided by engineers. Another aspect not to be overlooked is the level of social intelligence in version 3. Tesla has begun testing Optimus to interact more naturally with humans. For instance, the robot can recognize when someone is handing it an object or signaling it to pause. These are no longer rigid pre-written commands but learned behaviors from observing human actions. Version 2.5 had none of this social perception. It only followed explicit instructions, lacking the adaptability needed for unexpected situations in human interaction. The clever part is that Tesla doesn't stop at having Optimus learn from the physical world. V3 also learns in virtual environments. It can practice tasks like organizing items, cooking, or folding clothes in 3D simulations, then apply those skills in real life. This dramatically accelerates its progress, whereas V2.5 had no simulation-based training to rely on. To put it in relatable terms, V2.5 was like a fresh graduate, equipped with basic knowledge but needing step-by-step -step guidance to perform. Meanwhile, V3 resembles an experienced employee who not only learns independently but also observes, refines, and shares insights with colleagues. This fundamental difference makes Optimus V3 not just a machine, but an intelligent system capable of growing and maturing over time. Why did Tesla redesign the appearance of Optimus Gen 3? If in V2.5 Optimus looked like a laboratory prototype, rough, unfinished, and lacking cohesion, then with V3, Tesla has truly elevated its appearance, transforming the robot into a product that feels commercial-ready. It's no longer just for demonstrations, but refined enough to exist naturally in everyday life. The design is what surprises many people, as V3 delivers a far stronger sense of being human-like compared to the previous generation.
The most noticeable difference is the streamlined exterior. V2.5 still had many exposed mechanical parts, resembling more of a test machine than a finished product. In contrast, V3 is enclosed with a seamless shell, tighter joints, and smooth surfaces with high aesthetics. Tesla clearly doesn't hide its ambition to make Optimus a product that can stand alongside humans without appearing alien or intimidating. While version 2.5 evoked the image of an industrial lab robot, version 3 brings to mind a robot companion. Another major highlight is body proportions. V2.5 had stiff shoulders and hips, making its posture and walking look unnatural. V3 was redesigned with proportions closer to a human body, from limb length to joint curvature. This wasn't only for looks, but also for subtle gestures. For instance, standing upright more naturally, bending knees smoothly, or extending an arm at a human-like angle. These refinements made many observers remark upon first seeing V3 that it looked less like a machine and more like a person. As for the face, although Optimus isn't designed to mimic emotions like Japanese robots, Tesla refined the head to look more harmonious. V2.5 had a flat, mask-like faceplate, appearing like a temporary cover. V3, however, is sleeker, with natural curves, making its head turns, scanning motions or bows appear more fluid. Even without expressions, these adjustments make Optimus V3 feel less cold and more approachable in social contexts. A subtle yet important change lies in the hands. While V2.5's prototype hands were rigid, with bulky finger joints, V3 features softer, more refined hands, with additional joints and a shape resembling human hands. Though closely tied to manipulation abilities, as discussed under functionality, from a design perspective, the hands themselves contribute to a friendlier appearance. When Optimus moves its fingers, it's clear that the design was carefully crafted to reduce the machine-like feel and enhance naturalness. Material and color choices also changed significantly. V2.5 was usually seen in plain black and white plastic surfaces that scratched easily, reinforcing its prototype look. Meanwhile, V3 comes with smooth coatings, metallic finishes, and even a special gold edition that went viral in the community. This proves Tesla isn't just focused on function but also on making Optimus look premium, much like Apple did with the iPhone. A robot that is not only functional but also visually appealing gains far greater commercial value. Another interesting detail is the design language itself. Tesla is known for its minimalist philosophy in EVs, and this approach has been carried over to Optimus Vive 3. The lines are clean, without excess details, with all components hidden under a seamless shell. This marks a sharp contrast with version 2.5, which still showed plenty of exposed frames and cables. The minimalist yet modern philosophy makes Optimus VI 3 suitable for home or office settings, where aesthetics matter just as much as performance. The shift in appearance isn't just about looking better, it ties directly into Tesla's broader strategy. Elon Musk has emphasized that for robots to integrate into human life, they must appear natural and non-threatening. V3 embodies this philosophy, human enough to feel familiar, but still mechanical enough not to be mistaken for an emotional being. In this regard, Tesla has taken a different path from Japan, where robots are often overly anthropomorphized. To put it plainly, V2.5 looked like an experimental prototype built to prove concepts, while V3 looks like a commercial-ready product, fit for mass production and daily human interaction. This change in appearance goes beyond aesthetics. It's psychological. Humans are naturally more inclined to trust and cooperate with machines that look friendly and approachable. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.